since they're going to FD, do they both have FD queued up, or do they forget to do that? Because I don't think I saw the pit stage. Oh my god, it literally just came in and they were ready. Alright, I respect it. I respect the speed and the ferocity. Alright, so we have Slinka. Uh, some pretty good custom combos from mid stage. Usually he's playing like a very far range game, but he's been. Uh... Oh man, Axe barely slowing down Luigi. Not quite the right position. But Z with really good awareness, managing to get back onto the stage and not eat an S smash. But not. Nope, nope, he ate that one. Oh man, unfortunately Z hitting, getting his hand hit on the flat on the edge. And getting immediately pushed back down. He was not able to uh, to get back onto the stage, he air dodge. I don't think I've seen a single Luigi combo come out of Z, like a basic Luigi combo. I wasn't actually able to watch the previous match, unfortunately. That might be death? No, not quite. He wasn't at a uh, tipper range. I do respect the fact that Slink is like, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not at kill percent, so I'm not going to try to force a kill. And a great down throw to up me from Z, getting the first stock. But this is gonna be kind of a rough situation for him because he's got to make up two stocks with a percentage. All right, having the presence of mind not to air dodge this time. And here we have Luigi combos, not quite killing though. Surprisingly enough. One of his moves up, yeah, because his up B was uh was stale. Did not get the, he didn't get the uh one point, I think one point one five knockback bonus. But I'm not 100 sure what the bonus is for a totally fresh move. And down smash charged will take this match. I don't know if somebody can um can tell me what the unstaled bonus is for move cues. Like if it's completely unstaled, as in not use that stock. Uh, I know that it's particularly high, and that was definitely the reason why that uh, that upbeat did not kill, was because Z minus had to use it to get the the first stock off of down throw. All right, we have uh, Z minus's counter pick is it looks like Slink banned Lilat and Yoshi's. I couldn't find an exact number, but I did learn apparently that uh, move staleness works differently based on whether the character was hit on shield or not. So apparently if you're hit on shield, the uh, staleness damage reduction is 0.85 times as opposed to 1 times. So that's kind of interesting. But regardless, uh, we have Z making the counter pit to Counter pick to pit, and actually his uh, smash will take a profile carry. Very interesting. And that push off of the. Uh, oh my goodness. He used his character's hitbox in order to push uh, Slink off of the stage ever so slightly. Even though he did a tech in place, it probably would have hit regardless, but that was really good use of the hitbox collisions. And just like that, the first stock is gone for both players. Oh my goodness. Right, good get up from Z minus. Keep an eye on the. Uh, he definitely was conscious of the amount of time that the plane was out. Alright, good use of a. Uh, Pit has some pretty good combos, and he can generally combo people really well until mid high percents. 
However, uh, once those characters get above those mid high percents, it can, get, it can be kind of a struggle for Kit to place any kind of kill move. And yeah, that was a very unfortunate upbeat from Z minus. Make a good dash attack. Definitely betting on the two frame there. Alright, Slink taking the uh, the second stock using the Holy Water into F-Smash. Alright, nicely done. Interesting interaction there with the Boomerang. Uh, the cross actually stopped Slink in the middle of his running animation. And it caused him a little bit of input lag. It didn't really affect what happened there too much, but it was uh, an interesting little interaction. Ooh, wow. Yeah, the super armor on the side B not quite strong enough to get through the Holy Flame because it is a multi-hit. And almost losing his sec, his last stock, with Z-minus managing to turn it around, getting a downer into an F-Smash due to a neutral air read. Very nicely done. And this might be the stock for Z-minus taking the stock! Man's like, I just, he just did it. He just, that was so, much, that was such a good string from Z-minus. And he managed to take the last stock. Very nice. You can clearly see the thinking, the mentality behind um, Z minus his counter pick here. He's like, all right, so Luigi has kind of a rough time dealing with this because of his poor air mobility. Uh, but Pit has okay air mobility, and he has multiple jumps. He has resources to use to get back to the stage, and he has the ability to kind of force you to um, to force you to situations you got to read what I'm gonna do off stage, and if you read wrong, I kill you at like zero percent. Here we go, we have that situation again. This time, uh, Slink not neutral air dodging. Uh, was probably the biggest thing that, uh, that helped to his survival there. Z minus losing his first stock, and Slink's still in a pretty good position to keep carrying this. We saw what happened the last match. Uh, Z minus wasn't it was able to, to make a really good comeback by just getting one stray hit into uh, into a combo. Slink has to play this super carefully if he wants to ensure that he's not going to get a turnaround like that again. You can see, like, now Slink, uh, Slink has Z minus in a position where it's gonna be really hard for Z minus to get back to the stage safely, and that acts. Yeah, he never learned how to read. You might imagine this might end up being um, Z minus's ban in future matches, just because of how few options it gives uh, Z minus for landing, especially because. Belmonts don't fight for mid stage, they fight from quarter stage. Alright, and a good side B. I think that was actually the, like the second side B. Z minus is done. This whole match. 
is very well placed and a good DI up from Slink in order to get out of the combo. And a fully charged F smash, not quite enough to kill. Uh, Z minus was at about 60%, but these axes are coming in hard. Alright, yeah, and Slink just showing that, like, this is probably not a stage you want to fight me on, dude. You probably don't want me to take you here. I'm not entirely sure what, um, what Z-Minus's bands were. This is best 3 out of 5, yes. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what, um, what Z-Minus's bands were in the previous match. But honestly, like, Pit hasn't been doing that great for Z-Minus so far. Outside of that one really good kill that he got to, to kind of clutch out the previous match, and it's like a showing that yeah, if you don't, uh, if you're not able to kind of get me off the stage and kill me, I can pretty much run rough shot over you. Alright, so we're back on Smashville. Uh, even though this is where Slink lost the previous match, he's about to lose that stock. He has no chance of making that back without a jump. And for the first time, I think this whole set, Z minus actually is holding the lead. Uh, but the way that he's getting hit, he's not going to be having it for too long. You gotta be, you gotta be very careful to not lose it. Try to reflect her. Unfortunately, you can't reflect her something that's in between his legs, and that's a zero to death, technically, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, man, you gotta get in on Richter, and that can be kind of hard when there's a platform above his head. You know, the way that uh, the sling plays is very defensive. He's specifically looking for an opportunity to, uh, to push his opponent off the stage to get a punish, but he is not super strong when he's put into that same position. Barely missing with that Nair. Dude, wow. Alright, nice down nice down air into the uh the F smash. And unfortunately for Z minus, uh Richter's upbeat is destroyed enough to get that hit. Yeah, I think Slink didn't have faith that that was gonna that, that holy water was gonna hit, so he immediately went for the F tilt to just kind of cover the landing option. Very smart, even if it didn't get him the stock immediately. He probably wanted it to get him stage control, which is worth a lot in this matchup. Oh man, Z minus wanted it, but he rolled back. And fourth throw is gonna be enough to finish it off. Slink barely avoiding death there with that jump. Very nice. Alright, this should be the stock. Oh my gosh, Z minus going literally to the blast zone. You could not have gotten any deeper for that kill. That was nuts. Most people would have been like, alright, I'm gonna try to footstool this dude. I'll do the jumping down there so I can get the footstool. It's fine. And this might be the stock if Slink is not able to, to get back in. The Z minus held forward a little bit too much and needed to hold back to smidge to catch the air dodge in if it wasn't a true combo. And we have a peanut shield here, guys. And if you're not careful, that peanut shield's gonna get smashed. Alright, Z minus should be out of the woods. Should be back up to full power, but now he has to worry about stage control. Slink has all of it. And one more axe of the cranium is gonna be the stock. And that will be Z-Minus sent to losers if he gets hit one more time. Oh, he's dead! He side me by mistake! 
He was trying to do the up B and then change his angle immediately to be as horizontal as possible. But he screwed it up. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. But Slink moves on 3-1 with a solid victory overall, honestly. Uh, besides the times that he got comboed, uh, he was playing that matchup very intelligently. And he was able to hold advantage for most of it, so good job on him. Alright, in losers we have Dave Create versus Vestation Fights Beast, the winner of that Fights Beast. And we have Nintunis versus Skew, and the winner of that is going to fight the loser of Mega versus Albert. Alright guys, let's uh let's get our next set in here. Oh look at Z minus. So nice. So uh that's some good sportsmanship. Just saying, congrats. Before you left. 